What's up, guys? My name's on Cage Games. Welcome back. Yes, back to another Mortal Kombat 1 video. Today, we're going to be reacting to the combat cast community chat with Tyler Lansdowne and Ed Boon. Uh, they did this live stream like not too long ago, but I was at the dentist, so I kind of uh, missed the show apparently. I didn't know it was going to be over so quick, but we're here. We're going to react to it and uh, see if they reveal any gameplay, maybe some information that we don't know about, maybe talk about the uh, cameo fighters. I'm excited. First official talk, some information about MK1 from the devs themselves. Let's get going because this is uh, the past live stream. This is actually the VOD. Uh, I can skip this timer so we don't have to wait. So uh, editing magic. Take us to the start of the live stream. So they played the trailer again, but we're not gonna play the trailer because of uh, YouTube demonetization. So if you guys hate YouTube demonetization, uh, drop a thumbs up. Screw you, YouTube. Pre-order for Shang Tsung, baby. All right, welcome everyone. Uh, to this short stream. You just saw the trailer again, and I am here with Mr. Ed Boone to discuss Mortal Kombat 1. Great to see you, everyone. We, uh, I can't tell you how much we've been chomping at the bit to tell you about this game. We've been holding on to so much information that this is really kind of the beginning of a very dense campaign where we will be giving you all the information you want oh, to So excited. Kombat. And uh, I guess we're just kicking things off right here. And we just saw the trailer. Um, yes. What is, what you is guys your didn't. favorite part of the trailer? First time I saw in it, this video. Goosebumps. What really got you? Um, my favorite part of the trailer is the fact that it's kind of like a different format than before. Normally, we're really telling, you know, the intense fight ending with a fatality, and this one is a, a, a lot more story focused. Uh, yeah, I see that. It's giving you an idea of this, all the characters in their new relationships, their new reality. Um, you see a lot of origin stuff of how characters became to be that's going to be a really cool part of our story and the, C um, the, so the cgi in the trailer looks really kind beautiful of establishing that but at the very end the end of the day this is a mortal kombat game and so we really wanted it to end with a um with a bang and oh, yeah. that is uh the reason why the ending is as kind of brutal as it is there's fatalities of course because it is mortal kombat but uh, i'm I, I love this new kind of story presentation that we're giving yeah it really it starts serene and then it kind of it goes crazy at the it end does. a really cool cadence yeah, that way yeah, yeah. um so a good question then uh why do we decide to go with mortal kombat one that is a great question mortal kombat one like i said this is really uh an at the beginning of a universe in a sense and it is not a continuation of the Mortal Kombat 11 story. So, Luke, you know, again, the characters have completely different roles in this uh, new timeline. And we really wanted to kind of punctuate that and really, really emphasize that with our title. So this is Mortal Kombat 1. It is a brand new beginning. You're going to be seeing, like I said, these characters reintroduced in their new roles, new relationships with each other. And that's the, the main catalyst for calling it Mortal Kombat 1. And so we got. You know, so it's Luke not connected to MK11 ending. Part of this game, yeah, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but this fire got Luke Cage. Cover. Yeah, yeah. You know, Scorpion and Sub-Zero have odd. always been, you know, the poster child of Mortal Kombat. You know, they're they're the most recognizable characters. But because this is Liu Kang's universe, we again we really wanted to mix things up. The the, the color scheme in our in our key art is different. Uh, Liu Kang, you know, is the the first time we really kind of featured him up in front. And so again, this is all about a whole new Mortal Kombat, and I do think that Liu Kang is a great uh, face to put up front. I think the cover looks really, sweet. Really, I think Liu Kang looks again, awesome. Punctuate that this is a brand new Mortal Kombat. It's not just a continuation of the last ones. Right. Uh, let's switch gears a little bit. Uh, kind of go to our fans and our very, very talented fans. Uh, can you talk a little about the collective? Yeah, the collective is coming back. That's always been, for me, one of my favorite parts about our campaigns is just seeing the unbelievably creative approaches that Ooh. artists from all over the world, all all different kinds of art, right. have uh, you know their expression of the Dang, that's sick. characters is 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 so inspiring for everybody in our studio. Nice, you know, from cakes, paintings. <laughs> to you know anime it, it just i just, wish um, i was this so talented i can't uh, draw me, uh, again, a cube parts of uh, that's that's fire of, pun intended kind of our campaigns 
and over the years we've opened you know when it first started it was a lot of just art yeah. but now we've moved on to like you're just talking baking shoes yeah. everything yeah yeah it's uh, so super cool, cool. Yeah. so keep an eye out for that yeah. um big question we get all the time will there be a collector's edition yes there will be a collector's of course. edition that's another of course fun part of it and it's uh by course which is the the the, the company that made the Mortal Kombat uh, X. X Scorpion right. Corpse, yeah. Corpse, and um, I think it's right there so behind Ed Boon. About that because Top of the shelf. They have such a, a distinct style, and their version of Liu Kang with dragons is going to be cool. There's going to be a video I saw it. following this. Right? Well, yeah, I there, saw was, it. Uh, at the end it of the looks show, fire. Show a video of the behind the scenes creation of that uh, yeah. special edition or yeah. collector's edition. Part really of it. special. Yeah. Uh, we, you know, we, this was just going to be a short stream to start. Uh, just want to let people know. I mean, it's coming up. The game is yeah. it's this year. Yeah, yeah. So like Ed said, it will be a, a dense, a lot of information coming at you. Exactly. I'm There's ready. Throw that information that at our face. You, um, revealing new our new gameplay mechanic, the new game modes. Tell us. The, the, the new look of the of the game. Of Tell course, us. Of course, the story. Show us. And uh, it's, it's going to be a lot of cool stuff that's coming. And one way we'll be able to give you a lot of that information, we've been getting tweets about, the combat cast will return. That's right. That's right. Um, to me, um, I'm I've always been a huge fan of the combat cast just because it really gives um, a little bit more of a connection with our audience. You know, Tower taking questions and um, just keeping everybody up to speed with what's going on. Always showing peaks of the of the game and all that. So that that's one of my favorite parts of this too. And put you on I the love the combat cast as well. Can I get you great a guest on one of the shows? No. <laughs> I'll, be on, I'll be on at some point. Unless, if this doesn't count, then it definitely will. Yeah. Everyone's like, nah, so we'll talk. Yeah. I'm not going to be in the comic um, cast. Awesome. So, super excited. Thank you so much. Yeah. yeah. Um, we talked today earlier, and once the trailers and stuff, the teasers start going out, the excitement just starts building, especially in this building. Yeah. And yeah. Yesterday was a magical yeah. day, dude. Yeah, the whole MK community working on this game. got so hyped. I, I loved it. Any Mortal Kombat game, and uh, the it's going to show. We're gonna be, you're gonna be uh, excited to see the new stuff that we, we've got. Uh, we can't wait to tell you about. Can't it's wait to see absolutely it. Absolutely beautiful. Can't wait. Please stick around because right up now we're gonna show you the behind the scenes with course on the Mortal Kombat One Collector's Edition. We will see you soon. Yep. All right. Ooh, look at that! Look at that! So again, uh, course is the same uh, company. That made uh, the Scorpion MKX statue, uh, which I thought that statue was all right. Um, I definitely like the Liu Kang statue. They make a lot better than the the Scorpion. The Scorpion was pretty simple. Uh, this one actually has like dragons coming out, and I really like the the red um, in the statue. It pops. You know, it's a lot of gray and white on on the figure, the statue, and that red just sticks out like a sore thumb. But it's so sick. I love it. I love it. So I'm definitely going to go pre-order that um, probably after this video. Uh, I'll go to uh, go to the store and pre-order my collector's edition. Dude, that's so sweet. That's so sweet. You know, the, the homies over the Realm cast made a comment saying that this uh, Liu Kang kind of looks Sifu, the video game Sifu inspired, which I could see that. I could see that. And I... I think I read that this was going to be a skin for MK1. So once that happens, I'm pretty sure someone's going to mod this skin into Sifu. And when they do that, I'm going to try it out for sure. But that is awesome. That is legit. I want one now. It would be even cooler. Just a little thought. If the tattoos on his arms, like there's like batteries that you can put in that makes it light up. Oh, imagine. Imagine. Yeah, that, that red on the white. Ooh, ooh, clean. Mortal Kombat 1. Why is the music so scary, though? Mortal Kombat 1 Collector's Edition. Available 914. Pre order now. Very sweet. Very sweet. Oh, no. What happened? Did, this, did their stream break? But that's it. Hold up, that's it? Wow, when Tyler said it was going to be a short talk. He wasn't lying. All right, guys, that is, I guess, the first uh, technically combat cast that NetherRealm has done for Mortal Kombat 1. I am excited. I have a lot more questions 
uh, now than before because Ed says that it's not even continuing from MK11. This is a brand new story, which I am, I have questions because, I mean, at the end of the last game, it was Fire God Liu Kang. This new game has Fire God Liu Kang. We kind of assumed that this is his timeline, but no, it's not connected, apparently. Strange. Strange. We didn't get any gameplay, but hopefully we get gameplay soon. We got um, Combo Breaker end of this month. We got Sony State of Play end of this month. We got uh, Summer Game Fest uh, next month. So there are a few dates around uh, around the corner that we could be seeing gameplay. And uh, like they said, it's a very dense campaign. The game comes out not too far. So... They're going to be hitting us with a lot of information, a lot of gameplay, a lot of trailers. And when they do, I got you guys covered right here on the channel. So don't miss out. Subscribe, ring the bell icon so you guys get notified every time we upload a brand new video. And you guys can keep in the know about everything MK and all things awesome. So subscribe, comment down below and let me know. What do you guys think about this uh, new reset? Literally Mortal Kombat 1. Uh, so what do you guys think? Do you guys like that? Anyways. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, like, subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand new. Mine's on Cage Games and you just got caged. Show us. Oh, Sub Zero. Okay. 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 Or ally. Say it. Tag team. That's tag team, right?